I wrote that I gave to my sister, it's about how the space around us contributes to us creating ourselves as human beings. So it's called On Her Wall. On her wall, in that slender slice of space the world has provided her, she wrote, an octopus, octopus ink with a Chinese blue bush. This is what Ithaca means. Striking, binding to a corner of the mind. Our lives are just cross-references to all the anthropomorphic tricks and flutters of beauty, not in the form of beauty, but the cheerful embrace caress of a moment aligned with your deep, carefully maintained sense of reality. That moment when the fullness falls out of the folds of the cosmic fabric and drips iridescent veneers of completeness over our unfurling mountains. Like lampposts that appear in a dark street, that pool of light is just enough to keep you going along. On her wall, in the slender slice of space that the world has provided her, she put up the postcard I sent her. Montmartre in the forties, it's foggy and children are running like fawns over the cobblestones. The houses and streets around them are as breathtaking as their impossible poses. It's about the space we inhabit, the intermediaries between bodies and sense, the electric potential where no man's land can be, and the not yet been, will be cast into. It's about the space that sculpts the way you'll smile at him, the next cafe you'll meet up with him. Space is your backdrop and supporting actor. And even though our Ithacas do owe their due to Cavafy, we were imbued in the flair of Durrell. Like how their Alexander is the craving shadow. Our London and our Paris holds us tight over the breast as, as we roll fleeting body prints over their skin like snow angels in winter. On her wall, in that slender space the world has provided her, she has a picture of us. Like that, while I'm here, I'll be a little over there also.